Monsieur, Madame. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Carl. Bienvenue de l'Aeronautique. Hello, everybody. I'm Carl. Welcome back to Aeronautica. We're here around the region of Toronto, in between the city airport and the international airport. Oh, why do we? Why does this float plane have a radar dish above? It's one of those radar things you see on the E3 Century. <laughs> Americans. So here is a look of the Toronto City Airport and its island. While on the mainland, it's pseudo Toronto. And what just happened here? It's all sad. Sandy. <laughs> the premises of the International Airport. Look at that mess. The sand seems darker within the city airport island. Well then, just transport our plane to the city. Start the engine. Let's head our way to the city airport. A bridge for a seaplane or boy sure is empty. One, two, C two aircraft. An Embraer and another Embraer. And that's a uh, DC six. flight on a float plane statistics the Havilland Canada DHC2 Beaver float plane
And with that, see you on the next Aeronautica video. Au revoir. Mesdames et Messieurs, bonjour, je m'appelle Carl, bienvenue de la Nautica. Hello everybody, it's me again, Carl, with another Aeronautica video. Well, is there an ash fall going on? What's these black things? Mon dieu. Is there a volcano nearby? From the looks of it, there's two meteors that fell at the exact proximity of the pseudo Eiffel Tower. And this should be the Palace of Versailles. The pseudo Versailles. But the Valois International Airport, that's the pseudo Luxembourg, looks intact. Wasn't affected. So that the <laughs> just the entire perimeter of pseudo Paris, pseudo Paris, got hit by this meteorite? Unusual. <laughs> but then again, our float plane just spawned under this so-called impact. Yes, the smaller impact. Let's start the engines. Let's try to get out of here. Get out of this impact. No, no! Ah. Uh, what the heck? There's some kind of invisible wall. And we're still on our floats. Now we can't get out of here. Yes, the impact has somehow created an invisible wall inside the river, the pseudo Sen. Now we can't get out. But anyways, let's just... end this on a more honorable note. Long live France, long live liberty. Here's the statistics. 
이번 세트 하블렛 카르다 덱세트 플럿 플랜 See you all, everybody, on the next aeronautic video. Au revoir. Guten Tag, ich hätte Karl, willkommen zu Aeronautica. Hello again everybody. It's me, Karl, with another Aeronautica video. This time we're here at Northager Radar Station. And we're back with this De Havilland Canada DHC-2 Beaver floatplane. And ahead of us is the island of Aska. This is Pseudo Iceland. And the largest airport here is there. The Uskafloy International Airport, which is a pseudo Keflavik International. <laughs> largest airport in Iceland. So today we're going to have a sightseeing tour. And let us start the engines. Oh, we still have this disc, <laughs> the radar thing. <laughs> on our head, not the little head, it's just the top of the fuselage. So let's take off full throttle. Five minute autosave. So here's the map of Aska. How does this compare to the actual Iceland? So this is Jotunfrost seaplane base, the Hoftanis Regional Airport, and the Iskafloy International Airport. So our first point Factories, 
More factories. The rest are just evergreen trees. What's five kilometers around here? Lots of silos. Barns, farmland, permafrost. Hope this place won't get I have its winter forever, so let's... Now we have begun our sightseeing tour. Stay within 0.83 kilometers in the time of 45 seconds. Keep distance, keep distance. No way. Must be flying within the designated area. Oops. <laughs> Alright. Stay within the point eighty three kilometers. Or I think that's the Yeah, the is that one mile? One nautical mile? Oh yes, it's um, I guess that's half a mile. Okay. Oh uh, what we're experiencing here is this some kind of Fog or. Anyways, let's proceed to the next location. Now, where's the next one? Right, the Orcs Arrow leads us to there. Amidst all this fog y condition. So what is 7.3 kilometers away from here? Hmm, so we're close to the pseudo Keflavik International. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the text just disappears. It, or does the text becomes Text disappears. <laughs> this little <laughs> fog. Or Ultra Stratus Cloud? Okay, we can see now a visual of the International Airport. Sido Keflavik. Oh, it's thanks to these windmills. They're helping us. Get rid of some of these <laughs> foggy clouds. What's the guy said? All the surrounds clouds, but all right, four kilometers away. And this should be Keflavik. <laughs> or pseudo Keflavik. Or wait. No, oh, is this. Yeah, this is not pseudo Keflavik. Keflavik's over there. This, I guess we're in pseudo Reykjavik. Am I right? Pseudo Reykjavik. 
Oh, I can see a lighthouse. Two kilometers. Just in case, let's turn on the navigational lights. And the headlights. I'll stay within the 0.83 kilometer range. Yes, that's half a mile. Trajectory is about half a mile range. We'll have to descend a bit. Now bank starboard. Behold, the glorious capital of Reykjavik, or pseudo-Reykjavik. Oh, there's a crate. Now let's go to the sight stream spot number three. Alright, so this should be the proximity of the hot springs. Yep, they're hot springs. Geothermal power plants. This is the third marker. Keep close to the orange arrow, then back starboard. Now let's go back to Northager. Full speed ahead. Okay, we're climbing into the clouds. We might be flying blind at this point.
just have to keep ourselves level. Two and a half minutes to Northager. Here are the statistics for the float plane. Compared to the beaver without the floats, with the floats, without, with. Now let's land at the radar station. So, 2 p.m. game time already. Oops. <laughs> yeah, it's the Q key. was the Northerger, not the North, Northerger Radar Station Sightseeing Tour on the De Havilland Canada DHC-2 Beaver Float Plane. Stop on the near the orange marker, <laughs> not on the marker, but near the marker. And fair amount of compensation there. Shut off the engines.
and see you on the next Aeronautica video. Bless. Say thanks, Santa. Madame et Monsieur, bonsoir, je m'appelle Carl, bienvenue de la Nautique. Good evening, everybody. Carl, welcome back to Aeronautica. We're here at Brisier International Airport, the pseudo Montreal Mirabel. And just like Tecoronto, before it, the whole region is filled with sand. The fields, the hill, are not affected. And whoa, what do we have here? Is this supposed to be the moon? Oops. Anyways, is this supposed to be the moon for the April Fool's update? This here troll face? Oops. Concurrent players. Still some cloud cover. But that's all. It's this is supposed to be the moon. But they changed the round thing into the troll face. So anyways, pseudo Montreal. Canadian region is now in sands while we see the troll face rise this very night drag down any further so let's go back to the air traffic control view and enjoy the moon rise or true rise <laughs> and with that see you on the next aeronautica video au revoir